we felt good going into the game. Um, you know, the only person that really believed in us was us. I think only one reporter out of 50 really picked us to win the game. Uh, we knew it would be close. We knew they would come back, but just we had two weeks to prepare on them because we didn't play a jamboree, which helped us a lot. Um, so we had a, a lot of work that we could put in. We knew we had a good plan. Our coaches came up with a good plan. We knew we were in better shape than they were just from our summer workout program. And we felt pretty good going into the game, and obviously it, uh, it ended up working out for us. Anytime you got 14 new coaches, all these new players, uh, only six returning starters, everything was brand new. Um, and even still, we had you know all these scrimmage struggles and seven on seven struggles in the summer. Um, but then you know we knew we'd have to fight through the first quarter just from being nervous, and we saw that uh, ball went out on the five yard line. We you know we dropped the ball there. We dropped a kickoff. Uh, special teams was kind of a disaster substitution wise. So that's all your first game jitters. We got, gave up a safety on the first play of the game just because we were nervous and did something we weren't supposed to do and, and let a guy free. So. Those are all the first game jitters, but now we play varsity football, so hopefully we get those out of the way. Well, we got to eliminate all those mistakes. So no, no first game jitters. That's not an excuse anymore. So now we need to eliminate mistakes. We left two to three touchdowns on the field. Uh, we should have scored 50 last week. And so we've got to catch those balls and uh, eliminate any mistakes on offense. On defense, we played pretty solid, but then we gave up a 19 to nothing run. Um, and a lot of high school football is just momentum, so being able to recover from these ups and downs momentum-wise, that's the whole key. Uh, offensively, we did great. So we threw the ball for almost 400 yards with two quarterbacks. Um, so that was really good. We still left two touchdowns out there. Defensively, we shut down their best player. He had three catches uh, going into the game. He was all state, and so we had to stop him to win. And we did that, um, but we've just got to be able to play a whole game. We can't be giving up 70 yard touchdowns. We need to make teams drive the field. And, and on offense, we just have to execute our game plan and um, not get flustered by you know momentum swings. So Galton's a hard game. Uh, it's a hard place to play. They've got a lot of tradition. They've won three state championships, 18 region titles, uh, one of the more historic stadiums in the state. So it's not an easy place to go. It's gonna be slam packed. Um, and they've got a bunch of big dudes that, that are really physical. Um, so it's kind of like playing a, um, like a Metro Nashville team that's gonna come hit you in the mouth. And so that's what we gotta prepare for, which is not gonna be easy. Uh, we also don't wanna look ahead. We know what's all coming the following week and we're coming off a big win and Gallatin's stuck here in the middle. And so we can't overlook anybody. We just gotta take it week to week before we hit the rest of the season.